Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janice Martin here, and for today, I'm gonna read this book. So now guys, the title of this book is Naughty and Bear by Jan Ormirud and Freya Blackwood. So, now guys, are you ready to start? Are you ready to start to read this book? So this book, I'm gonna read this one for my daughter. So now, let's start to read this story. So now guys, this is the story of Maudi and Bear by John Ong Mirod and Freya Blackwood. Okay, let's start to read this one. So now Maudi written by Jan Army Road, Maudi and Bear, illustrated by Freya Blackwood. Okay, let's start. Let's begin. The boy cried. I need some exercise, said Maudi. Fresh air would be nice, said Bear. How about a bike ride, said Maudi. Now, let's take a look of the next one. Let's go, said Bear. One moment, said Maudi. I need my sun classes. Bear waited. Soon Maudi came back with her sunglasses, ready as Bear. One moment, said Maudi. I'll fetch our hats. Okay, let's go to the next. Ready as Bear. One moment, said Maudi. I need my scarf. Okay. This is very exciting. Now, ready? Ask Bear. One moment, said Maudi. I need my sunscreen. Now, Ready? As bear. One moment, said Maudi. I need my bag spray. Oh my god. At last, they were ready to go. Bear got on the bike. Maudi got into the basket. Exercise, said Maudi. It's so good for you. Okay. That's right. So exercise is really good for you. Home sweet home. Now, one afternoon, Maudie went for a walk in the woods. Soon, she came to a little house. Now, let's see what's the next. Maudie went inside. She tasted the porridge. She sat in the chairs. <gasps> Let's have a look here. Now, this is really exciting. But before she had time to try the bed, father, mother, and baby bear came home. It was their house. So, Maudi ran away. <gasps> she ran away. She ran away all the way home and arrived in a bit of a tease. Would you like some porridge? asked Bear. I just want tea, said Maudi. Not so hot. Not too sweet in my very own cup. Sitting in my very own chair, 
I, and I don't want anybody else sitting in it. Then she burst into tears. I wouldn't sit in your chair, said Bear. It is far too small for me. But you are very welcome to sit in mine anytime. Even when you are sitting in it, said Moldy. Especially when I am sitting in it, said Bear. Now, let's move to the next story, the snack. I'm hungry, said Moldy. Me too, said Bear. Let's make a snack, said Moldy. Good idea, said Bear. Moldy picked a dandelion and Bear made peanut butter sandwiches. Be sure you spread it right into the corners, said Moldy, and cut off the crust. Okay. Now, Bear made a pile of pancakes with maple syrup, said Modi, and keep them warm. Bear cut banana slices into yogurt. Don't forget the chopped nuts, said Modi, and the honey drizzle, please. Yep, Bear is always loves honey. Next, Marty picked another dandelion. Bear made a smiling face out of fruit. You forgot to peel the grapes, said Marty, and I hate oranges with pips in them. Then Bear spread a cloth on the table. You should fold the napkin, said Maudie, like swans. Maudie put the dandelions in a jar of water in the middle of the table. Now, everything looks perfect, she said. Far too good to eat. Perhaps we'll feel hungry later, said Bear. Now let's move to the next story. Making up. One day, while Bear was watching Maudie dance, he got the giggles. Don't laugh at me, said Maudie. I'm not laughing at you, Bear chuckled. I'm laughing with you. I'm not laughing, said Maudie. Please go away. Bear went away to think. Then he knocked on Maudie's door. What do you want? said Maudie. I want to make up, said Bear. I'm not speaking to you, said Maudie. And she shut the door. Now, Bear knocks on Maudie's door again. What do you want now? said Maudie. I brought you a chocolate biscuit, said Bear. Maudie took the chocolate biscuit. I'm still not speaking to you, she said, and she shut the door. Bear went away to think again. Later, he knocked on Maudie's door once more. Now what, said Maudie. Would you do me the honor of dancing with me, Bear asked. Oh, all right, said Maudie. So they tangled and fox rotted until the stars came out. Then they rumbled and jived and saucered by the light of the moon. As you can see here on the pictures, they look really happy. You are very good dancer, said Bear. Yes said Maudie, I am. Now, let's move to the next story, telling stories. 
Bear, said Maudie, let's both sit in your big chair while you tell me a story. Certainly, said Bear. So Bear told Maudie a story. That was a good story, said Maudie. Now, I will tell you a story. Once upon a time, long, long ago and far, far away, Bear closed his eyes. Bear, said Maudie, do not go to sleep while I am telling you a story. I am not asleep, said Bear. I am listening with my eyes shut. So, Maudie began again, once upon a time, long, long ago and far, far away. Bear's head sank onto his chest. Bear, you are too asleep, said Maudie. Listen while I am telling you a story. I am listening very hard, Bear said. I am shutting my eyes to concentrate. That's really funny. So Maudie started again. But soon after, Bear let out a big snore. Maudie pinched his nose to wake him up and said, You have hurt my feelings now. Going to sleep during my story. And she started to cry. I'm so sorry, said Bear. Why don't we go for a walk to wake me up and I can finish your story while we walk? Good idea, said Maudie. Once upon a time, said Bear, long, long ago and far, far away. Oh, that's the last one. As you can see here, that's the last story of the book. So, so love is inexhaustible. So that is really true. And now guys, I hope you enjoy watching and listening of the story of this book. And for now, thank you for watching of this video and for now I'm gonna say bye bye and see you next time